Hey guys, Trevor Inman here. I'm Director of Engineering at Tactical Kinetics. And this is our first installment of our Tactical Tech Tips segment, where we discuss some of the behind the scenes and our processes, give you guys a little bit more insight behind how we make the barrels that we make here every day. Um, for starters, I wanted to discuss uh, some differences in our drilling operations for both our pistol barrels and rifle barrels. Um, these processes are similar in some ways and different in others. So let's go ahead and take a look at the differences between these two processes and um, it'll be important for us to kind of take a look because it forms the basis for our product. Um, if we get a good drilled bore in the, in the barrels, we'll end up with a good barrel at the end of the process. Um, so for starters here in my hand, I have one of our uh, pistol barrel twist drills. Um, these are used in our lathe to go ahead and create the, the preliminary bore in the material, which will become the rifled bore at a later stage. Um, this drill in particular is a twist drill, as I mentioned before. It has two flutes. Uh, it is about 20 times diameter in length, and that will be important later when we form the comparison uh, over to our rifle barrel side. Um, we also have through tool coolant. So in this particular drill, um, there are two, two coolant passages in which coolant is injected into the hole as the drill is cutting and that will allow the chips to break more cleanly and to eliminate heat in the part. Um, and that produces a, a more consistent hole, maintains good tool life over a long period of time. So an important characteristic of both drilling processes in our pistol barrels and rifle barrels is that the tools and the workpiece counter rotate relative to each other. This keeps the drilled hole um, unaffected by gravity over its drilling length helps improve our speeds and feeds, among other things. So we just took a look at our 9mm drills for our pistol barrel operation, and now we're going to compare that to our deep hole gun drills for our rifle barrel operation here. This particular drill in my hands is a quarter inch drill for drilling 6.5mm caliber rifle barrels. Um, it's about 200 times diameter in length. You'll notice it's much longer than the previous one we looked at, and it has a little bit different characteristics than the twist drill that allow it to perform as well as it does at this length. Um, if we take a look, it has a um, single flute on it, as well as coolant passages, just like the last tool. Um, the tip is a different material than the shank, so this is not a, a homogeneous single monolithic tool. This is actually a steel tube with a carbide tip on it that's been brazed on. Um, so it's very different than the twist drill. Um, you'll notice by the name of the twist drill, uh, that one has a helix to the, the flutes, whereas this one is a straight fluted tool, which is uh, much different in, in function and characteristic. As discussed with the pistol barrel drill, this process also uses counter rotation, where the workpiece revolves opposite in direction relative to the tool. Again, that helps stabilize the tool over its cut and offset the effects of gravity over the length of the drilled hole. Surprisingly, this tool despite its very long length, will only produce about a 20 thousandths to 30 thousandths bend over its entire drilled length up to a 25 inch long barrel blank. Um, it's pretty amazing what these tools can do. That about wraps up all the details on our drilling operations here at Tactical Kinetics. Please like us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more coming soon.